Hey everyone, forgive me for not putting my face on camera. I have not long finished work and I look like a hag, so sorry. But um, I am doing a haul video. My dog's running around, he's terrified of the camera. Um, I'm in my lounge, as you can see, and it's a real mess. But anyway, um, I'm doing a haul video. I've got some stuff that I have acquired of late that I thought I wish off. Some I've had for um, a wee while, but um, I like these sort of videos. I'm very nosy, so I like watching what other people acquire. So, okay, uh, books. Right. I got this uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, you can get a big copy of this book, um, like the the, the, um, the actual volume of it. This is a pocket guide, and will speak by Ted Andrews. And this was quite cheap, and I wanted the big one, but I didn't quite have the money to buy it. So I thought, okay, well, this would be quite good to carry around um, in your bag if you're out hiking or tramping or, you know, whatever, out for a Sunday drive. We quite frequently do that. And it's quite good. It's got, um, whoops, trying to do it one-handed. It's got, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so if you see animals... Um, out in nature that you think might be giving you a sign you can reference this like reference it in this book and it will tell you meanings and things like that so this is a good little book um, I think I may have figured out what my totem animal is actually and um, yeah I don't have anything like this so I'm gonna buy the actual like the full volume of this um, eventually so I got that um I've been waiting okay focus I've been waiting on this book for ages this actually just arrived today um Herb Magic for Beginners by Alan Dugan and I'm a massive Alan Dugan fan um excuse me um Garden Witchery and Herb Magic oh my god I'm belching um Green Witchcraft are all that all, they all feature really strongly in my path and I love Alan Dugan I know some people think that she is a little bit flowery in the way that she writes um, but I, I just love her um, I love her style of writing I am also a really big Scott Cunningham fan <sighs> fan and I find that they write not well not similar but they have that, that same easy to understand um, you know, sort of style of writing. If anything's like too technical, then I I have a brain fart and I lose interest. So, um, so I had a quick flick through this before I was due back at work, and this looks this looks really really interesting. Um, it's got little spells in here, charms, as you can see. Um, yeah, I really like Alan Dugan. I've got several of her books and I've actually just ordered Cottage Witchery and another Herb Magic book by Scott Cunningham. I won't get them for probably about a month, thanks to Fish Pond. So I've been waiting for this one for like two weeks. So I got that. Um, I pretty much finished this one. This again is Alan Dugan, um, Garden Witches Herbal. Uh, this is fantastic. I really have enjoyed this book. Um, yeah, I've read most of it. Um... I have her book, Garden Witchery, and this is kind of like the, the second book to that, and it's great. It goes through different plants for different sabbats, um, container gardening, um, baneful herbs and gothic herbs, which is something that really interests me, colour coordinations, um, yeah, just, it's really just a follow-on from Garden Witchery. Um, and yeah see it's got like different plants that are relevant to that sabbat um, so this is great I can't wait to get um, her other book that I have ordered I got this one about a month ago now I don't normally buy like spell books um, because I do all my own spells I don't well, I typically don't get a spell out of a book. If, I'm, I might take ideas out of it, but generally I just make all my own up. But this was at the warehouse, and it was like... Oh, I've taken the price off it. It was like two or three bucks. It's actually not bad. Um, it covers off a few things. It's It's got spells in here, obviously. But it, it, like at the beginning, it's got, you know, different types of spell working, the elements, 
um, the different moons, like Moon in Gemini and Moon in Aquarius and all that sort of thing. Um, it had stuff on crystals and, sorry, um, all that sort of stuff. So it's not bad. Um, who's it by? Pamela Ball. So, yeah, I mean, it's okay for a reference. These other couple of books I've had for a wee while. I actually got this one. I got this one and I got Marion Weinstein's Earth Magic off Trade Me, which is like our big online um, auction website here in NZ, um, for a dollar, which was just phenomenal because I think, is this one got the price on it? Yeah, see, this was $35.95. And books here are so expensive, like... You guys overseas in the States and the UK don't know how lucky you are. Um, we pay top dollar for books here, which is why I don't have a huge book collection because they're just so expensive and I am on a very tight budget. But um, I buy off Fish Pond because they have free shipping and the prices are really reasonable. Like um, this book, whoops, was 20 bucks or $22 or something. Um, if I brought that, like if I went to a bookstore and ordered that, or got them to order in for me, it would be probably nearly 50. So yeah, books are expensive. But So um, yeah, I brought this one and Marion Weinstein's Earth Magic for a dollar. And this, I mean, this looks a little bit airy-fairy, just from the cover of it. But it came with the other one, so I was like, okay. And it's actually very good. Um, obviously, okay. How to Be a Real Witch by Deborah Gray, or Deborah Gray, however you pronounce it. But it basically just goes through her life. Um, I thought it might have been a little bit silver raveny, wolfy type. Um, but it's actually, it, it's not, it's very, very good. I believe this woman is Australian, actually. It goes through her coven life um, and all that sort of stuff. Um, coven versus solitary. And yeah, it, it was very, very good. Um, it's got different spells in here as well but I thoroughly enjoyed it so um, if you want like an autobiographical I've mispronounced that sorry but if you want a book that's got like an autobiography type feel for it then um, this is really good I've had this one for a wee while as well now I did start doing Charlie Say's go her study group um, that she was doing um, she had a video about it um, on her channel and there were like about like I don't know about a hundred of us doing it um, and we were sort of using this book um, as a textbook and I got my book really late so I completely fell off the bandwagon and I don't know like I didn't really connect with this book so much um, it's got some really good stuff in it and I haven't read the whole thing but um, I mean this book this cost me it says $24.95 US I got this from Fish Pond. This was like 40 bucks. So if I had to get this from a bookshop, it would probably be about $60. Um, but it's, yeah, I mean, some of the stuff I found a bit, mm, okay. But, yeah, um, it's not too bad. I must say it's not too bad. I need to sit down and actually read through the whole thing because it's got some really good exercises that you could do. If you're doing a year in the day, like just on your own um oh my god my feet have gone to sleep um it's got some quite good exercises that you could include um into your own year in a day study so yeah so that's that um let me clear a space and i've got some crystals now i'm not a big buyer of crystals um i don't use crystals Man, that's a big lot of dog here off my floor. I don't use crystals a huge, huge amount in my practice. Um, I'm the sort of person that will go out and buy crystals and then think, oh, what did I get that for? Because I actually don't know what to do with them. Um, I use them in spell bags and things like that, but I'm more connected to herbs than I am, am to crystals. But anyway, I love buying them. So um, I brought... Man, I need to do some housework. I brought a pendulum um, the other day it's got a big knot in it and 
I actually, like I love amethyst, I'm very connected to amethyst, but I actually really want a bloodstone pendulum, so I'm going to go back and get another one, because although this is lovely, I haven't actually used it yet, I've charged it, I haven't programmed it or anything, um, I just don't know how connected I am to it, but I really love bloodstone, and they didn't have any in the crystal shop, so, um, but anyway, I brought that, um, and this was actually given to me as a gift, this is Snowflake Obsidian um, from the coven that I was loosely involved with for a wee while. Um, I think, yeah, I like it. Um, don't know much about it, but um, very unusual looking. Um, whoops! Sodalite, this is a rough piece of sodalite. Sodalite is a stone that I really do like, love. Been a long day. Um, this was cheap. This was only like a dollar, and I'm going to go back and get some more. Um, so light's really good for communication. So I actually have this particular piece sitting in my lounge all the time, and it's just got such a nice feel to it. Um, I have a lot of tumbled stones as well of soda light, but I'm going to go back and see if I've got any more because um, I actually do prefer the rough pieces than um, I do the tumbled so so I got some of that and angel quartz um, and I actually just brought this because I liked the color of it I'm ashamed to say um, and it was also on special and I've got some really lovely big big clusters of this in at the moment it was way beyond my my price range but um, yeah it's it's so pretty I have this beside my bed all the time and I really do think it helps me sleep but I should really meditate with it because I would like to get in touch with my spirit guides and I think this stone would help and that's probably why I brought it I guess instinctively I was drawn to it but um anyway so that's that oh and on which is a balance whoa bad camera shot um Mally aka Harmony sent us all a Selenite palm stone. I've never had a palm stone of any sort ever before and yeah I actually quite often will sleep with this and I'll wake up with it and it will still be in um, the palm. Like I'll still be holding it. I just yeah I just love it. I love selenite. I've got quite a quite a um, few bits of selenite. So Melly, I just I absolutely adore this. Thank you so much. You're just so wonderful. And I got this the other day from a secondhand shop. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Isn't she freaking cool? I've got a couple of other witches done in this sort of, I think it's she's done out of paper mache actually. Um, and oh my god, they are so expensive. Like, um, I don't know if you get these in other parts of the world. I guess so. I don't know. But um, there's a woman that makes them up in Blenheim, which is sort of near the top of the South Island. And one this size is normally like near 100 bucks. I got this for 20 She's got some broken fingers off this hand, but that's okay. And I just, I love it. I just, I think they're so cool. There's so much detail. And I mean, okay, so she's really ugly. And she has a big wart on her nose and you know, a big pointy chin, but I don't care, and she's quite a, like, a bit of detail on, like, she's got a little thing on her hat, and she's got a little headstone, she's got a black cat, yeah, I just absolutely love it, and I've had this one, oh my god, let me see if I can get it, I've had this one for years and years, she was about $30 I think as you can see she's a lot smaller than that one but I just I love them I know they're cliche you know ugly hag but um I don't care I think they're cool she's got a spider in there and she's holding a little cauldron and my husband excuse me the state of my house it's a fucking pigsty hello He's like, you don't, don't film me, lady. My husband brought me this, he's probably fly shit um, all over my light, but my husband brought me this for my birthday a few years ago. And, yeah, there is fly shit up there. Hey, Marathon. Um, 
you can't really see her face, but I just think they're cool. Anyway, now that I've shown off the state of my house, I will let you guys go and I will catch up later. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.